Good morning, everybody. And a new week has started. And we're on a gray, kind of drizzly day here in South Carolina. Uh, I think we definitely needed the rain that we got on the weekend. We haven't had any rain since Hurricane Matthew. So the course was starting to dry out a little bit and the tea was starting to go a little brown. So the rain was much needed. Um, PGA Tour this week was in Mexico at Mayacoba Resort. And when I was down in Mexico a few years ago, I went and stayed at Moon Palace, which is in the same area. And I wasn't really impressed that much with Moon Palace, to be honest. And, uh, but looking at the Mayacoba Resort and listening to the commentators who are, were staying there, uh, if you're going down and you're gonna stay in that area, this looks like a place to stay. It is very, very beautiful. Pat Perez had a shoulder operation uh, a few months ago and uh, made his comeback uh, a little while ago, played well, um, sort of validated the operation by winning the Mayakoba Classic by two shots. Uh, Gary Woodland put up a good fight, finished in second place, but congratulations to Pat Perez. Um, I know that uh, he is a guy in the past that has, I think, lost some tournaments because of his temper. Uh, he seems to be, after the operation, a little bit calmer, a little bit more mellow, shall we say. And uh, he certainly played beautiful golf in the final round, showed no sign of, of cracking. I think the, the shoulder injury being repaired has given him confidence in his golf swing. So I think we're going to see some more wins from Pat Perez next year. Uh, the European Tour was in South Africa, the Ned Bank Challenge at Sun City. And up until now, that tournament has been kind of a standalone tournament. But this year, it was part of the European Tour and part of the race to Dubai. So we had a full field and we had some great golf. And Alex Noren finally won the tournament with a spectacular final round, uh, 63. Started the front nine with six birdies to turn in 30 and then eagle the 10th and birdie the 11th. So he was nine under par after 11 rounds and everybody was thinking a sub 60 round, but he just kind of coasted in from there and ended up shooting a nine under 63. Uh, well done. That is superb golf. Then, um, the race to Dubai has now tightened up a little bit. We have Hendrik Stenson at the top. We have Danny Willett and we have um, Alex Norens jumped into third place. Rory McIlroy now in fourth place, bumped down from third. Those four players have a legitimate chance next week of still winning the race to Dubai. Everybody else thinks that the, those four have got to play really bad for anybody else to try and sneak in. So watch those four players as they go along. LPGA, Charlotte Siganda from Spain won again. It seems like players get on a streak. Alex Noren has won four of his last 11 tournaments. Charlotte won uh, last week, won again this week. Um, so congratulations to her. She played in, also in Mexico at the uh, Lorena Ochoa Invitational. Great bit of news from the European Ladies Tour. We had an 18-year-old girl from India win the European Tour. That's the first time ever that an Indian lady has won a European Tour event. And so everybody, and of course it was being played in India at the uh, Hero Challenge. So she won on her home turf, much to the excitement of the crowd. So congratulations to her. Um, I also have some news and th there was such a lot of stuff. I, I wrote it down on a piece of paper because I couldn't put everything in my head. But of course, one of the big pieces of news is Tim Fincham is now stepping down from the PGA as commissioner, um, needing a much needed retirement after being at the helm for so long. Uh, we wish him everything of the best. 
in the future. Then there was some amazing golf at the Mayakoba. So Aaron Wise came along and birdied, sorry, eagled the uh, fourth hole, which is a par three. So he had an ace on the par three eagle. Very next hole was a par five. He made another eagle. So he went one, three on a par three and a five. And so not to be outdone, Gary, sorry, uh, Mark Leishman came along, also made an eagle at the fifth. And then the next par three was the eighth and he made a hole in one on the eighth. So that's a great way to lower your scores very, very quickly. Tomorrow is going to be training a Tuesday for the final time for a while. I'm going to look for some exciting new training aids in the future, but tomorrow is going to be the last one and it'll basically be a recap of all the training aids that I've done in the past. We'll make it a little funny and uh, enjoyable. So stay tuned for tomorrow at Training Aid Tuesday. See you then.